Burundi has now turned the page on its painful past. It's now a peaceful, viable and livable country. The people of Burundi set an example in 2005 and 2010 with the holding of elections in a peaceful environment and in a transparent manner with the international community as a witness. A study conducted by a US-based agency has indeed shown that Burundi ranks first in Africa with regard to the population recognizing the outcome of elections. The UN Secretary General came to Bujumbura after the 2010 elections to congratulate Burundians, saying the process was generally free and fair. For the first time in the history of your country, the institutions elu Democraticamente, serão parvenus ao termo de seus mandatos. O ponto culminante desta evolução a été marqué par as recentes eleições comunais, o primeiro turno e a segunda eleição pacífica e democrática que o país é conhecido. In less than four years, the population has already built 2,500 primary and secondary schools and hundreds of clinic centers are being built all over the country during community works held every Saturday morning under the supervision of His Excellency Pierre Nkurunziza. Today, the government of Burundi has started a nationwide village program, a program that will help improve the health care system, ease away development planning, such as water and electricity supply, bring solution to the scarcity of arable land, etc. <laughs> The village of Gishubi in central Burundi, where over 500 houses have been completed. The village of Gihanga in western Burundi will have a capacity of 1,500 houses. The road network, one the best on the continent, has tremendously improved in the capital Bujumbura and in the rural areas to the satisfaction of motorists and the pedestrians who are now praising how Burundi is embracing development. Free medical care for children under five years and pregnant women is still underway. Burundi continues to send troops to Mogadishu as part of the African mission to Somalia to help restore peace in the Horn of Africa. And now our troops are training the Somali security forces. Other troops have been sent to Chad, Central Africa, Haiti, and Côte d'Ivoire. The integration of Burundi in the East African community is now a reality. As a result, the Burundi Revenue Authority, OBR in its French acronym, 
was set up and by setting up new revenue structures, the tax reform has resulted in strong revenue growth, reducing corruption. We have collected more than 35% uh, uh, above the revenue from 2010. Uh, and in fact, we expect to reach the uh, annual target by the end of this week, sometime by the end of this week. So uh, that means that for the revenue coming in, for most of the revenue coming in in December will actually be additional to what was planned in the Planned Treasury for year 2011. Burundi Investment Promotion Authority has improved the business climate, investors' operations and exports assistance. Burundi, a small country in the heart of Africa, its resources, including mining resources, according to experts, 6% of the world nickel deposits are believed to be in Burundi. Though gold accounted for approximately 90% of the country's mineral production as of the year 2005, Nickel's potential was estimated at 45,000 metric tons per year only in the Musongati region in eastern Burundi. True to his sporting conviction, the Peace and Sport Award President Nurunziza has set up a SOC Academy named Le Message FC for various age groups and he has built a modern stadium in Gozi, in northern Burundi. The main objective of the SOC Academy is to train local talents to turn them into professional footballers in the future. In 2011, Burundi was awarded the Best African Exhibitor Prize in the Berlin Tourism Exhibition.